Hey guys, it's Mike from Potrats. And today on Potrats Pointers, I'm gonna be talking about five easy cinematic drone shots you can do on your own. The first cinematic shot you can do is called the push in pull out. This is probably the easiest shot you can do with a drone. It's the first shot I do every time I go up for a flight. The first thing you wanna do is when you get up in the air is frame up your shot. Once you got your shot framed up, all you do is push in towards your subject in a very smooth and steady speed. When you get to the end, make sure you feather the landing and you land nice and softly on your shot. After that, all you gotta do is just back up and you have two shots already in the bag. I always do this shot first because it's very simple to do and I know I already have one shot ready to go. The second shot is what I call the rise and fall. And this one's really easy to do and all you have to do is just go straight up with your subject in frame and straight down. This is a very simple shot and all you have to do is hit one control, hit it up and hit it down and you get a nice beautiful cinematic shot. Once you've done that a couple of times, there's a way you can take it to the next level. So what you do is basically when you're pushing up with this drone, you're gonna tilt down at the exact same time. So as you're going up, you're framing up your shot, you're tilting down to keep your subject in frame. This is a little, little bit more difficult because you have to coordinate two different controls at the same time, but it gives you a very cool looking cinematic shot. The third drone shot is what I call the cinematic orbit. This is my personal favorite one, but it's also probably the most challenging you'll do. For this one you have to do is you're really gonna have to be familiar with the controls. You're gonna have to memorize what each button does, what each control does, so it comes to second nature. For this shot, you're gonna fly the drone to the right with the right stick. And at the same time, you're gonna pan and turn the drone to the left while keeping the subject in frame. This one's very difficult because it's all about getting the timing down. You have to make sure that you're panning and moving the drone at the same speed to keep the subject in frame. You're gonna to wanna to do this shot multiple times to make sure you have one good take in the can. The fourth cinematic shot is what I call the tilt and push. For this shot, once you get your drone positioned at the right height that you want, you're gonna put the camera facing down toward the ground. Once the camera's facing toward the ground, you're gonna slowly push the drone forward and slowly tilt up with the camera, revealing your subject. Make sure you feather the landing on this so you get a beautiful, nice, smooth ending. The fifth cinematic shot is what I call the rise and pull out. This is a great way to reveal a nice landscape or a subject or to end your movie or to transition into the next scene. This is a pretty easy shot, but it does involve two controls. With the left stick, you're gonna push up and go up with the drone. And the right stick, you're gonna pull back and go backward with the drone, revealing a beautiful panoramic shot. These are my five go-to drone shots whenever I go on a shoot. They're pretty easy to do, and a little bit of practice, anyone can do it. That's today's Potrats Pointer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any drone questions or comments, please leave a comment below. And we would love if you guys liked and shared this video. Thank you.